your girl is back. <laughs> y'all welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be back i have not been on youtube in so long i've been uploading youtube shorts i've been over on tiktok uploading ig reels but i have not did like an actual youtube video in a year but i just want to get back on it and be consistent so today we're just going to chit chat and do some skincare I was gonna do my no makeup makeup routine, but honestly, I don't feel like putting on makeup today. First things first, I already washed my face with this Derma E Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Um, I have dry skin and sensitive skin. This cleanser is pretty good. Also put on the Road Peptide Lip Treatment already. I love a good lip balm lip gloss can't have too many okay now we're going to go in with the summer fridays dream oasis deep hydration serum next thing i'm going to do is go in with the holistic brujita skincare serum this is the h-e-c-h-i-z-o serum this stuff smells so good so to be honest i haven't really been on youtube just because i've been trying to find my balance in things and just really figure out what it is i want to do and making sure that i'm aligned with my purpose if you don't already know i'm a mother I have a son. He's almost three. He'll be three in June. Um, and I also started a business. So I started out with selling mood boosting stickers that I designed myself. So if you need a sticker for iPads, laptops, water bottles, notebooks, journals, anything like that. Um, I've always been a creative person. I've always loved art. So I just wanted to express that in some sort of way and make it into a business. And I also sell these scrunchies that are oversized and satin um, and named of the 90s TV show characters. So that's something else I've been up to. I started my business back in September um, 2022. But I was working on it months prior to that. And I just feel like I didn't have the balance between being a mom, starting a business, wanting to be a content creator. And then, you know, with creating content, you're supposed to upload on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, YouTube. It's just so many different platforms and so much to keep up with that sometimes i can be easily overwhelmed and i needed to just kind of tone it back um and i just went to tiktok for a little bit and i'm not saying that i'm not going to upload on tiktok anymore however i've always wanted to do youtube like for years and i've talked about this in one of my videos before and youtube just seems more youtube was like the og it's the og I feel like they it's a really great place to be a creator and to be yourself and I just wanted to come back and I just told myself be consistent be consistent like find your balance because that's important especially for your mental health and you're not getting overwhelmed but once you can come up with a good schedule to film your content a good schedule to upload your content then just stick with it you know and just do things with ease like work smarter not harder those are the things i had to tell myself and that's why i'm back because i just was like you know what i'm not about to keep making excuses for something that i really want to do and like i said i'm a creative person 
I went to school for the arts and I just feel like this is just my passion and it's just something I've been called to do. And with consistency, okay, I just feel like I can really take this thing a long way. So that's what I'm just challenging myself to do. You know, it's 2023, I'm 29. Last year in my 20s, I'm a mother and I just want this to become something and I really want to make my passion my paycheck like I said before I just really truly believe in that and you know it's just so hard for me to go to a regular job and be happy you know what I'm saying like and to be truly happy and to work all those hours and you, you're dealing with all these different personalities and all of these different energies and then you're taking that home. And well, I've just been thinking of a master plan and I've set some goals and I'm working on, you know, accomplishing those. So I am back, I am on YouTube. I am figuring out my upload schedule. I will be uploading once a week, period, once a week. Okay, not once a year, once a week. I'm thinking about uploading on Saturdays um, let's put on some eye cream this is the Derma E hydrating eye cream love this eye cream and eye creams are usually pretty expensive but this one is only like 20 bucks and you get all of this a little bit goes a long way I will say with filming on TikTok. I definitely have had a lot of practice with editing and each time I film and edit I feel like I get better and better at it so I'm excited to you know be creative with editing my YouTube videos I'm just really excited about being consistent in building a community on YouTube I feel like I'm beginning to build a community on TikTok. Um, I love when y'all comment. If y'all are here from TikTok, hey. Um, but I love when y'all comment and I love engaging with y'all and just having a conversation and just going back and forth. I do want to have that with YouTube too because that's just... Building community is one of my number one goals with, you know, my platforms. Next thing I'm going to do is take this Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. I've been trying out different moisturizers just to see which one I like the best because, like I said, since having my son, my, my skin has just went from oily to dry and it's still sensitive and I just need something that's going to be hydrating but not super heavy. So, so far this one has been nice. Also, comment and let me know what type of videos y'all wanna see from me. I'm open to ideas. Even if I don't film them now, I'll keep it in mind for the future. Um, right now, like I said, I wanna build community. So, I really wanna do videos like this where I'm talking to y'all and we're just having a conversation about different things. I definitely want to have like discussions on different topics and y'all ask me questions and stuff. I also plan on doing um, like Amazon, like Amazon hauls and Amazon favorites because I do have an Amazon storefront now. Oh, and I want to continue my Locked and Glowing series because I have not posted a video about my lock since I was three weeks locked and now I've been locked for over a year like so stay tuned for that that may be the next video now I'm gonna do black girl sunscreen okay this is what they be doing <laughs> if you know you know I still believe in what I was saying about you know you can't let your perfectionism feed your procrastination which is why I'm here because I can be a perfectionist and I've been working on that and I've gotten better 
Like, right now. You can see my son's bed, his pack and play, like, clothes hanging on the door. <sighs> Usually, me being a perfectionist, I'd be like, I gotta have a backdrop. And then you have to wait until you get the backdrop. Then the lighting has to be right. And I'm like, Jasmine, if you don't just go and put your set your camera up in front of that window with the natural light and film, girl go. And at least if people will see this, y'all feel like it's just more relatable because it's real life, especially as a mom. Like things are not going to always be speak and span and aesthetically pleasing. Like as long as things are tidy. In my opinion, I am good with that. And as long as the quality is on point, we good, we straight. So last thing I'm gonna put on is a little bit of rose water. Oof, that's always refreshing. I'm gonna go and start filming the next video, but I'm excited to be back. And I missed y'all. And I'm excited for more of y'all to come join me on this YouTube platform. And yeah, let's have fun. You know, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace and light.